here aboard Odyssey of the Seas. I'm about to go get coffee, and once I do so, I will be able to ponder the first burning question of the day. Why isn't it called Cafe Esplanade? And poor, poor Boleros gets blocked up every morning for the art. We, we can't even go and sit by the window, because that's the only entrance right there. The good news, I suppose, is I pretty much got my step goal yesterday in two parts, kind of. So I, I did 9,000 steps uh, during the day yesterday, but after midnight, I got in another 800. So I'm gonna say close enough. So yeah, 9,800 steps. And uh, that means my planning of the day to not go way, way over actually worked. That means though, I'm gonna have to deduct 900 from today and whatever, but matter. there's no way to set the, the calendar day in the steps app, at least not that I have seen. And I maybe I'll go look because I should investigate these things that I come up with because sometimes you are surprised, believe it or not. Well, not believe it or not, because it's not that shocking. You can get a tray in the Windjammer, so maybe I will try that sometime and see how it goes. I mean, you just have to ask for it. Uh, it's not that complicated. It looks like we might have another jam-packed day, so I had to start off with a healthy breakfast of champions. Oh yeah, well, you know what? Everyone's their own champion. Sticky buns and bacon. Don't judge. Actually, you know what? Do judge. I want to hear what you have to say. And we'll finish it off with some muesli, which so far has been pretty good on all the ships. Oh no, the cruise is ruined. The rainbow sprinkles fading into the darkness. Oh, goodbye my loves. That was a pretty terrific uh, breakfast here in the Windjammer, which uh, identifies, of course, as just a light snack. The uh, sticky bun, best of the season so far, and the bacon was cooked perfectly, just the way I like it. Uh, lightly crispy, but still melty. I don't like blue when it's Anyway, um, yeah, when, I, when it's too crunchy, yeah, not for me. Alrighty then, I do have a lunch plan that I totally forgot about, so glad I checked the schedule, and that means I have, uh, well, just, uh, well, there's trivia coming up, and then I will be riding the North Star over the side experience uh, this afternoon, so good, uh, yeah, I just booked it, because, you know what, um, it's a beautiful day for that, you'll see that in a moment. Oh, how about now? Yes, the skies and weather have cleared, and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day here in the Caribbean Sea. I guess uh, waiting a day wasn't so bad to fly on the North Star, and uh, well, yeah, like I said, that is what I'm doing. The splash pad is, uh, well, looking as fun as ever, but uh, you know what? Actually, you know what? I might be able to, to do that slide. Mm, I won't though, that would be... Well, actually, there's no one there, so that'd be okay, I guess. Is it? I don't know. You know what? Let me know. Well, that's where I'll be. I might have let the pendulum swing too far in the other direction. I'm on my way to the fourth trivia game of the morning. Yes, it's not even noon, and I haven't even had lunch yet, but uh, after this one, it is then time for lunch, and then the rest of the afternoon is uh, other things, so yeah. Um, Okay, just gonna calm down. It's fun though, I like it. And uh, you know what, that's why I go. Okay, well I only have two minutes to get to this one hosted by the cruise director, and I hope that he's actually gonna do it himself. Unlike, uh, you know, unlike the cruise director, or cruise directors, I think, on MSC who cheat and pre-record their games. Yeah, that doesn't work out. Well, that was disappointing. I, uh, I would've won outright, but I didn't get the little cards to actually play, so ding dang. It's okay, I have all the prizes they were giving out, so I'm actually okay with that. All right, I'm already late for lunch, but uh, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. I might even have to, oh well, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to change too, so. Um, yeah, let's go to that and uh, uh, carry on. I, the one time, can you believe it? Oh boy, Princess, it feels like a minute since we have talked, and well, it kinda has been. I feel like I've been playing trivia all afternoon, or all day, really, and uh, I, I kind of have. It's been game to game to game to game. The only break was for lunch, and even then I had to skip two games. So, yeah, I, I'm going to have to tone it down just a little bit uh, going forward. I don't know if there's going to be this many games, because there were a couple of special things today, because it's a sea day. That just might not happen uh, again. Definitely not tomorrow or the next day, because we will be in port, and... Uh, 
I won't have to think about this until um, Thursday, Friday, and whenever we're at sea again. Anyway, so everything's going great. Um, having a really good time so far. Trying to, I don't know, get a feel for this ship. First time I've spent this much time on a quantum class ship, and it um, it's nice, but there seems to be um, I don't know. Uh, I'll call it a continuity error. I, I would say the ship is um, was designed to house a number of very impressive venues, like 270, but they couldn't fit them all in a nice orderly fashion, so they're just kind of like, I don't know, fit wherever they would fit, and then it's just sort of connected however randomly that seems. That's a weird way to say it, but the other uh, mega ships, I don't know, they've all seemed to have a, a natural flow to them. Here, you know, it's like Scarlet Lady. There's just some, there's some dead ends, you know, and it's, um, I don't know, it's, uh, after being on uh, Wonder Woman of the Seas and even Mardi Gras, uh, I'm noticing it. In fact, you know what, Mardi Gras got kind of that, got kind of that middle ground. You know, there's some dead ends there, but it didn't really feel like it. Unlike Scarlet Lady, where these, uh, you know, things just go off in one direction and you're kind of stuck. But she's a smaller ship, so, um, you know, you don't feel that far away from everything. I know, it's kind of weird. But you can't, I know what it is, ah, there you go. You can't really do an easy walking circuit on this ship like you can on the Oasis class. I mean, you can literally do like kind of a figure eight on the Oasis ships and I know it, it kind of lends to a natural flow. I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling on about nothing. Certainly nothing that nobody else would care about. Probably nothing that you care about, I'm sure. But, I don't know, those are my thoughts so far. I will give somebody some credit on one thing. My uh, phone key works perfectly. The first time I tried it, it worked with the case, no problems. Uh, it's something they could not get working on Wonder Woman of the Seas, but here, first time, first time, first, first trime. Ooh, I like that, I just invented a new word. So, um, it looks like I will leave the ship with only one CPAS card. That's so disappointing. Oh well. Okay, I am going to think about what I'm going to do for dinner. Uh, not really, not, no, there's lots of options, but it will either be the dining room menu doesn't look that spectacular, or uh, the buffet. So, after my experience at Chops, uh, that's okay. Alright, well, um, yeah, let's go get that sorted. And we'll talk later. The spread in the Windjammer this evening is uh, Spanish. Taste of Spain kind of thing. And I looked at the dining room menu and it's uh, okay. So I'm uh, not too sure what to do. Some of these things I've actually never heard of, which means I should probably uh, stay here and just, uh, I don't know, sample? Elsewhere, like money on the table, that chicken cordon bleu was out here earlier but it's now gone. It is on the dining room menu tonight, so I was thinking of doing the same thing I did last night and getting the dining room food here in the buffet. Actually, that was the decision point. The Spanish flavors, I'm gonna come and try some of those. Some of them I've never heard of, so, well, there you go. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try some things I've never heard of. So, I'm gonna go and get changed. I've been wearing this most of the day and come back for probably a leisurely dinner. There's not a whole lot going on site tomorrow is at four days, so I guess they figure everyone's gonna want to turn in early. Uh, we arrive at seven and then uh, gangway at eight. I'm not getting off the ship at eight o'clock. Although I might go short in the morning and then come back to the afternoon. That's at least the tentative plan for now. So, well, decisions have been made. They were not that difficult. Uh, choosing from a venerable cornucopia of food options. So yeah, yeah, I am thankful for my problems. Thank you.